hey what's going on guys this is my third video of uh, complex numbers here what we are going to do is uh, we are going to see how to add and subtract uh, complex numbers now let's go ahead and look at an example let's say we have a complex number like this 5 plus 2i and we are going to add this complex number with another complex number that is 3 plus 2i here what we have to do is simply add the like terms like real number with real number and imaginary number with Im imaginary number and first we know that in the first one we have 5 is the real number here and 3 is the real number 5 plus 3 we will get 8 right here and then 2i plus 2i we will get 4i, 4i. now let's try this one let's say we have 7 plus 3i 3i plus 6 plus 5i what is the addition 7 plus 6 13 13 3i plus 5i we will get 8i now let's try this one let's say we have 4 plus 8i and uh, we are going to subtract 3 minus 5i now when you subtract you have to be a little bit careful because because when we don't have anything here it means here we have a one distributed everywhere but here we have a negative one so when we do that uh, we will get a 1 times 4 4 1 times 8i 8i and here negative 1 times 3 negative 3 and negative 1 times 5i we will get positive 5i okay now we just add the like terms 4 plus 4 minus 3 that is 1 8i plus 5i we will get 13i now let's say you want to find out the absolute value of this one how to find out that one we know that when we have a complex number like this a plus b i uh, to find the absolute value what we, what we do is we just simply uh, a square plus b square within the square root here a is uh, 1 so 1 square plus 13 square we will get uh, 169 plus 1 170 square root of 170 <clears throat> okay square root of 170 i continue this one right here um square root of 170 we cannot like there's no square multiplying each other so we can just simplify this one as 17 times 10 and that's all we can do that's the final answer because we cannot uh, simplify into squares like for example if you have a multiplication of 25 we can simplify into 5 something multiplication but we here we don't have any multiplication 170 doesn't have any multiplication of square number so we just leave it like this now let's try this one i use a different color let's try this one let's say we have seven times four plus three i and we have minus five times two minus six i here what we have to do is if we just have to simply multiply seven times four twenty eight plus 7 times 3 21 i and then minus 5 times 2 this is negative 5 times 2 that is negative 10 negative 5 times negative 6 i plus 30 i now if you add them 28 minus 10 um, that's gonna give us 18 and then 21 i plus 30 i that's 51 i now let's try something like this let's say we have 4 plus uh, square root of negative 25 square root of negative 25 i use a, i cross this one with a border okay 4 plus uh, negative 25 square root of negative 25 and then plus we have 3 minus uh, square root of negative 81 okay now let's see how to do that let's put a bracket for this and this and here we know that uh, we can just uh, eliminate the square roots first 4 plus square root of 25 is 5 but square root of negative 1 that is i so 5i plus 3 minus square root of 81 is 9 square root of uh, square root of negative 1 that is i so 9i here so 4 plus 3 7 4 plus 3 7 and 5i minus 9i that is minus 
for i okay now let's look at another one let's uh, let's get rid of all these things okay i'm gonna get rid of all these things first okay, it's loading i'm waiting for it to respond okay now i'm gonna erase everything and start a new one okay let's start here let's say we have 7 minus square root of 9 um, minus minus 4 plus square root of negative 36 and again we know that 7 minus square root of 9 is 3 my square root of negative 1 is i so 3 i here and um, mm, and we have minus minus 4 that's gonna be plus 4 oh um, uh, let's put a bracket that's actually a distribution uh, minus time minus 4 that is plus 4 minus time um, this one is 6 i so 6 i times negative negative 6 i so we are going to get 7 plus 4 11 and uh, minus 3 i minus 3 i ok let's see if I am making any mistake here minus 3 i minus 3 i minus 6 i that is minus 9i okay let's double check everything is right 7 and we had minus minus 9 so it's 3i 7 minus 3i and we have minus minus 4 plus 4 and then uh, this is 6i minus times 6i minus 6i 7 plus 4 11 and minus 3 minus 6 minus 9 i so we end up right here now let's look at another something like this let's say we have a multiplication like this 8 i times 4 i 8 times time 8 i times 4 i what is that we know that 8 times 4 32 and i times i i square and i is square root of negative 1 so i square is going to be just negative 1 so 32 times negative 1 we will get negative 32 that's all i want to talk in this tutorial i'm going to go more on complex numbers this is my third tutorial uh, i'm going to do more on fourth tutorial i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching see you guys on my next video